Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, um, in one of my other videos, you, you may well have, have spotted uh, these characters, or one of them, this one in particular, um, which uh, I got as a little surprise for the diorama I made that I called uh, The Enemy of My Enemy. And I deliberately left these out of that video because I wanted it to be a little bit of a surprise at the end uh, when this guy turned up. So I thought it was only fair to uh, shoot a second video of these little chaps and, uh, and how I'm going to try and, and paint them. Um, so a little bit of background. These came from uh, eBay from Russia of all places. Um, there's a chap who sells these and uh, surprisingly cheap, surprisingly well made actually and um, yeah arrived surprisingly quickly so surprises all around. Uh, so I actually bought, I only used one in the diorama, I did actually buy uh, several of them and so they came in this little plastic tub um, so uh, there are a variety of different, I mean they are toys, they're not, they're not you know figures to be painted as such they are meant as toys so the mouldings are not terrific there's not a massive amount of detail on them um, but they do what I want them to do uh, or they will do what I want them to do and uh, and I'm quite pleased with them and I say they're a couple of quid for, for six of them uh, they're quite robust uh, apparently the chap who sells them also sells the same things but in a soft plastic which is cheaper but I'm not too keen on that idea. Um, as I say, they're not the greatest mouldings in the world, but I think they're actually quite cool. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to attempt to paint one of these uh, to go on our diorama. So let's get on with it. So I've cleaned up uh, the worst of the mould lines on this. They're actually not that bad and I'm not overly concerned about it because it's a robot. Um, so you'd expect to see almost like panel lines and seam lines and things. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, drill a hole in his foot and uh, so I can put a cocktail stick there so I can hold him while I'm painting him. So I'll just first make a little indentation, like, almost like a pilot hole, with a knife. Because this plastic is pretty hard. And then I'll just drill a hole into his foot like that. I'm not sure what type of plastic this is, but it's it's quite hard, as I said. There we go. And now we'll get... Now we take a cocktail stick and shove that in the hole. And now we've got something we can hold him while we're painting him. Uh, so the next thing is to put a primer coat on him. And I'm going to use, for that... I'm going to use this uh, gloss black because I'm actually going to do this guy uh, silver to start with so we'll give him a gloss black base coat so that's next there we go uh, now that's dry we're going to apply this um, all clad uh, lacquer it's airframe aluminium uh, it'll give us a really good finish and it'll give us a really good base colour for our, uh, our little robot. There you go, that's pretty good, doesn't it? And uh, now I'm going to give it a coat of this uh, Humbrol Clear Gloss uh, to seal that before we uh, apply the next coat. Right, so the next step is uh, three layers of paint chipping. So I've got uh, three colours of paint here. I've got uh, XF55 deck tan. I've got some XF85 uh, rubber black. And I have XF64 red brown. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our rust coat, our primer coat, and our top coat. So the idea is that we'll put all three of these on and once they're on we will chip all three of them together so uh, first one we need to put on is the brown 
Uh, before we put any of them on, however, we need to put on this, the, uh, the hairspray. So this is just cheap hairspray from Asda. So we'll give it a quick coat of this first, and then we'll put our colour coats on. Right, so this is the brown going on. And I'm hitting mainly the edges of the of the various bits of the robot. So I'm not going over the whole thing. But on the same score, if there's any like overspray, it doesn't really matter. And again, you don't have to be too precious with this. Um, if there's bits that are heavier than others, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's the brown on. Now I've given it another quick spritz of hairspray and we're going to move on to the XF55 Deck Tan. I'm going to give this a slightly heavier coat, not a lot more, but a little bit. Um, and we're going to go over the model with a bit more coverage. There we go. And after another spritz of uh, hairspray, uh, we'll now move on to our XF85 Rubber Black. And again, this wants to go over the whole model. And uh, there we go with the colour coat. Now we can chip the paint. Right, now to chip the paint, I've got a little pot with some water in it, I've got a, a soft brush, I've got a, a slightly stiffer brush, which is an old brush that I cut the bristles off, and I've also got a cocktail stick for making scratches and things. So basically what we need to do is wet it first. And you can see already, I don't know whether you can see that, but the paint is already starting to come off. Which is exactly what I want. So now I'm going to go to this slightly stiffer brush. And I'm just going to go around the edges. and kind of any sort of raised areas, anywhere where you would expect the paint to be damaged. And obviously you can do this as little or as much as you want, depending on, on the look you're after. And then what I'm gonna do, because there's like a, there's a seam line down his chest. So what I'm gonna try and do is just using the cocktail stick, just try and get some some chips down that seam line. Like that, you see. Again, I don't know what you can see. <laughs> you can probably see it better on the camera than I can see it with my poor old eyes. So... There we go, and we'll do a bit on his face as well. And just generally go over the whole model until you've got the effect that you want. So I'll do a bit more of this and then we'll come back and have a look at it. Right, 
Right, so here he is with the uh, the chipping done. Um, as you can see, I've paid more attention, like so, the joints, uh, his feet, uh, anywhere where you know metal would rub against metal and stuff like that, um, has got a, a heavier treatment than everywhere else. Um, but it's just basically to make him look a bit worn and battered. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll leave this to dry uh, completely, and then we'll put some more detail on, and uh, we'll be not far off finish then. So get in there. Day. Right, so here's our chap uh, fully dry now. Quite pleased with how he's looking. Uh, so I'm going to do a few details on him now. Um, so to start with, I want to do his eyes. And what I want is just like a, a pinpoint of colour in each eye. So what I'm going to do is use this uh, Corax White, which uh, you saw me in a, in a previous video when I talked about these paints. Um, but I'm going to basically just use a little tiny dot of this in each eye and then put a colour over the top. Definitely going to need the magnifiers for this. I'll try and keep this in front of the camera as best I can, but it might be awkward. Because what I don't want to do is, is kind of miss and end up making him look boss-eyed. <laughs> oh, which is exactly what I've done. Oh. Right, there we go. Right, that looks alright. So we'll let that dry for a second and then we'll put some colour on it. But what I also want to do is there's some bits on uh, the gun that I want to do as well. This Mainly this top part here. Well, I have to say this covers quite well this paint. Quite pleased with this so far. dry for a, a minute or two and then uh, we'll hit it with a colour coat. Right now to highlight the gun I'm going to use um, these two jade green and putrid green so I'll do the jade green first and then highlight it with the putrid green and for his eyes uh, they'll just get some of this uh, ruby red. So that's that. Now I'm going to try a little experiment. I just want to see what this uh, Reichland flesh shade is actually like as a as like a rust wash. So I'm just going to kind of streak it onto him a little bit. Oh, 
That's quite an interesting effect. I'm just adding a bit of this uh, green wash just to uh, kind of shade this a bit. Because it picks out those details quite nicely. There we go. Right. I'll leave that to dry. And uh, the last step is to seal everything with a bit of uh, matte varnish. So that's next. There we go. Right, there he is with his... Uh, Varnish on. Now let's uh, put him on the diorama and see what he looks like. And here is the finished article. Um, yeah, you've uh, you've seen this uh, this diorama before in a previous video, but uh, now you can see uh, the process of how I painted our little robot. Um, I didn't go crazy with it because it's not that detailed a model, and I didn't want to <laughs> I didn't want to go too mad with it. But uh, I think it's actually come out very nice. I like the sort of um, it's almost like a silhouette, he's just quite ominous looking. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, this video has been of interest to some of you. And if you enjoyed this, then there are more like it to come up in the future. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.